Hi, this is Shekhar Srinivasan, a Microsoft Certified Trainer and a Plural Set Author. This is a part of the free video series on top 50 most frequently asked questions on ADO.net. Let us get started. What is connection pooling? This is one of the most important questions that will be asked in any interview. So let me explain this question using my plural set video on understanding connection pooling from my course edivo.net by example from plural set. Connecting to a database server typically consists of several time consuming steps. A physical channel such as a socket or a named pipe must be established. The initial handshake with the server must occur. Then the connection string information must be parsed. The connection must be authenticated by the server. Checks must be run for enlisting into the current transaction and so on. In practice, most application use only one or a few different configurations for connections. This means that during application execution, many identical connections will be repeatedly opened and closed. To minimize the cost of opening connections, ADO.NET uses an optimization technique called as connection pooling. The connection pooling reduces the number of times that new connections must be opened. The pooler maintains ownership of the physical connection. It manages connections by keeping alive a set of active connections for each given connection configuration. Whenever a user calls open a connection, the pooler looks for an available connection in the pool. If a pooled connection is available, it returns it to the caller instead of opening a new connection. When the application calls close on the connection, the pooler returns it to the pooled set of active connection instead of closing it. Once the connection is returned to the pool, it is ready to be reused on the next open call. Now let us understand connection pooling in practice with the support of a console application. Let us write the code. I have defined a variable for holding the connection string. To understand the connection pooling in detail, I have taken a for loop which will iterate for 1000 times. Within the loop, I have just created an object for the connection, open the connection and close the connection object. Let us now execute the application. To understand how the connection pooling works, let me open the performance monitor. Let me add our console application to the performance monitor. We can observe the number of pooled connections which are active. Now let me flip to Visual Studio.net and update the connection string by disabling the pooling explicitly. Once again, let us open the performance monitor and clear the existing application and re-add our application to get the data. We can observe the number of hard disconnects which are opening and closing. So what is soft connects and hard connects means? Whenever the application is physically disconnected from the database, then we call it as hard connects. And whenever the connection is closed and if the connection is returned to the pooler, then it is said to be soft disconnects. Hope you are clear with this question. See you shortly with the next most frequently asked question in ADO.NET. If you are a plural set subscriber, you can watch my course ADO.NET by example to understand ADO.NET in detail with various examples. Please check out the following URL https colon slash slash www.pluralsite.com slash courses slash ADO.NET by example. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. This encourages me to produce more and more free videos. Yours, Shaker.